Thank you all for coming out tonight. Um, everything that I have been told uh, over the last six or seven months is that nobody's really going to be that interested in the city council races around town. And obviously, from tonight's turnout, that's not the case. Um, I am Wayne Christensen. Here are a few things that I would like you to know about me. My father was a county commissioner in my hometown in Illinois. He had me selling giant American flags door to door when I was a kid. I was in the United States Navy. I was in journalism in Minneapolis 35 years ago when uh, I decided with my wife and son to move here. We were competing. My job was competing with a publication at Will Communications. I don't know if you all remember back that far, but that was my first career here and the second just ended a year ago uh, this month when I retired from Knox Youth Sports, which is a sports <coughs> program in West Knoxville. 2,000 kids a year, year-round, and a marvelous way to serve uh, the children of our community and help grow them up through team sports. Having done that for 20 years, it's a very easy step for me to want to serve adults and children citywide. And that's why over the past seven months I've looked into this position. I've never run for anything before in my life, but I'm very excited about the prospects for um, the second district. There's some marvelous candidates running, and I'm sure we'll all have a lot to say about them each other and what's best for uh, the second district. Um, the things that I have found myself diving the deepest into thus far are number one, opioid addiction. I frequently talk to folks who, fraternity brothers, if they're a younger generation, to drop out of UT or folks my generation who may have a 22-year-old daughter who's affected, and I've had a number of conversations with the chief of police, with Karen Pershing, the call drug commission, and this is a serious issue, a serious public health issue that's called an epidemic. epidemic. We're being, we're under attack according to one official of the sheriff's department, so uh, to that, to the end of finding uh, a solution and playing a small part in that, um, I'm going to stay on this issue until the situation gets better in Knoxville. There are many, more, many other issues. I would love to tell you about them at a later point if I'm so fortunate as to be able to run citywide. But thank you for having me. 